Hi guys! So in this video I'm going to be showing you how I make my wigs. Now this is going to be a lace front wig and the lace front that I'm using is from Supernova Hair and this is a 13 by 6 frontal as opposed to a 13 by 4 frontal. What that basically means is it's still ear to ear but you get 6 inches of parting space instead of the standard four inches of parting space and that just makes your wigs look um, a little bit more natural and versatile. So here I'm just bleaching the knots. Now if you don't know what that means that basically is when the frontal is made the hair is knotted onto the lace. So when you part the hair you can see those little black dots. Those are what, what you call the knots. So what I'm doing is bleaching those knots to make them blonde. So when you part the hair, it looks more like scalp, more like scalp and you don't see those little black dots. And if you notice, my bleach is pretty thick. I like it to be a toothpaste consistency because I don't want it to seep through the lace and bleach the hair. And I'm applying that with a plastic knife. So I'm just do doing that along the entire frontal and I leave it on there for 25 minutes. Now if you have stubborn knots that don't want to lift, you can always go back over your wet frontal with bleach and the knots will still lift. Alright, so here I am showing you how I place my frontal on my dome cap. Now on every frontal, or at least every frontal I've had, there is a thicker line of lace along the perimeter of the frontal. That's going to be your guideline on where to place your frontal. Now usually you would put the perimeter up against the perimeter of your dome cap. You would line them up. Now for me, I have a little bit um, bigger head and my hairline um, is very thick along my sides so I have to bring my frontal a little bit farther forward on my dome cap so it covers all of my natural hair. Now if you have thinner edges or a smaller head you won't have to do this but for all my wigs I have to do this because like I said I have a larger head and a pretty thick hairline along the sides of my head. So here I'm just showing you how I sew my frontal in. Now I used to only single stitch my frontals, now I double stitch them just to make them last longer because if, if you wear your wigs a lot there's a lot of wear and tear and pulling on your frontal. So I would like to double stitch mine now so there's no possible way that all those strings are going to break. And it doesn't matter um, how many times you stitch your frontal on, it's not like you're going to be able to see the string anyway because you're connecting your last weft to the frontal itself. And I'm just using the T-pins to keep my frontal tight and also to keep my dome cap tight so there's no bunching. And this is one of the things I do. I always sew from the center of the frontal to the sides. I don't start from one side and then go to the opposite side because experiences have shown me that you can sew your frontal on crooked that way and then you have to go back and cut all the strings. It's just a hassle. So if you are sewing on a frontal to a dome cap, make sure you start from the middle of the frontal and then go from side to side. Now this is also a tip. So the frontal I'm showing you is made with medium brown lace. So I'm not actually making this frontal for myself, I'm making it to sell to somebody. Now the average person probably doesn't know this, but a majority of the frontals that you get are on medium brown lace. Now if you have light skin like I do, medium brown lace does not work for my skin tone. It looks ridiculous. You can definitely see the line of demarcation. So I tend to like to buy my frontals from Ross Pretty Hair. They do make 13 by 6 frontals and all of their frontals are made on a light brown lace that melts perfectly with my skin tone. So when you are purchasing a frontal, make sure you check the lace color because that will definitely make a difference on how realistic it looks um, when you put it on because if the lace is too dark it's very obvious you're wearing a wig. Now in this clip I'm attempting to show you how I tie my knots. It's kind of out of focus but it's basically all you do is just you just do a standard knot. It's kind of like a single strand knot where you turn the string in on itself and then you take the two pieces of string that are left over and then just do a regular knot. I'd like to knot it twice just to make sure my 
string is very secure and I use um, cotton thread you can get nylon thread which I have heard is a little stronger but um, the cotton thread is more in my price range so that's why I just use that but that's how your knot should look so basically the rest of this video is me sewing my tracks on and um, how I do it is I apply a track and then I pin it down with my T-pins to keep it where I want it to be and then I just sew. I will literally just just go through the weft the first time to secure the weft onto the dome cap and then after that I do not go through the weft because that's how you get bunching. I bring the thread through the hair up into the dome cap and over the track. So the only time I'm actually sewing through the track is at the beginning of a weft and at the end of a weft. And I think um, you'll be able to see that in these clips that I show you here. Now I don't cut my wefts when I reach the frontal, I fold them over. And I do that because sometimes if you don't like how a wig looks, you can always take down the wefts and then you don't have to worry about placing them a certain way because none of the wefts are cut. And also I just feel like it takes less time if all you do is fold it over instead of having to cut it. Now when I get toward the top of the wig, I'll start cutting it because I don't want it to be bulky. But in the back it doesn't really matter because that's where you want the fullness to be. So I'm pretty sure you'll see what I'm talking about in these clips because I have it zoomed in. Now I don't think I told you how many bundles I used for this wig. I only used one bundle and that's because I tend to like my wigs to be very natural looking and I also do not like them to be heavy. Now if you are into voluminous hair, you could probably tack on three bundles um, with this wig or you know two to three bundles depending on how much hair you want. I tend to like to have light hair if that makes any sense. Now of course I do love a va va voom wig every once in a while but the majority of the wigs that I make are only made with one bundle and at the max one and a half bundles. Now if you notice I'm using a regular dome cap with this wig usually I'd be using a mesh dome cap I just didn't have any on hand but since we're getting into the winter months using a regular dome cap is fine because you don't sweat as much but in the summer I definitely suggest you make your wigs using a mesh dome cap that way your scalp can breathe because in the summer you do tend to be a little hotter a little sweatier and if you have a regular dome cap your scalp can't really breathe through that material that's just a suggestion So here I'm sewing in my last track and I'm making sure that I attach it to the frontal. Number one, because I don't want to have any gaps. And then number two, if for some reason your frontal becomes loose, at least you'll have this last track to make sure it stays in place. Then of course, um, if I have any hair left over, I'll go back into the wig and fill in, in any blank spaces where I want more volume. Now, and then in the next clip, I show you what it looks like on the inside and then what it looks like on a mannequin head. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, press the subscribe button so you don't miss any more content from me, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!